arise a day in requesting for an adjournment in memory of the last great civil rights leader of the 20th century, Nelson Mandela. I was deeply saddened, as so many of you were, to hear of his passing. We knew of his illness, we knew of his impending death, and yet his death hit us no less in terms of knowing that this great man, who lived only 95 years, was gone from us. Nelson Mandela was born in 1918 in the Transvaal region of South Africa. He became an active anti-apartheid leader in his early 20s. He joined the African National Congress and formed the youth arm of that Congress to engage in nonviolent protest throughout South Africa. He symbolized for many of us the continuing struggle to create justice and freedom for a nation that was captured in something called apartheid, our, vi our version of Jim Crow. He attended, he, uh, he was arrested several times in South Africa and often charged with treason simply for asking for his right as an African citizen to be free, to be able to move about the country without having to carry passes, to be able to live his life just as a normal citizen. He was arrested in 1956. He was again arrested in 1961 for orchestrating protest. And eventually in 1963, he was convicted supposedly of treason and sentenced to life in prison. He represented not only just him, but so many other members of the African National Congress. And so while we celebrate him, we have to celebrate all of those who struggle so hard to bring justice and freedom. Nelson Mandela was incarcerated for 27 years, 17 of those years, on, 18 of those years on Robben Island. And I had the unique pleasure of traveling to South Africa nine times and visiting Robben Island and visiting the places that he, was, that he was kept and seeing the abhorrent conditions and knowing that the conditions had weakened his health, his eyes, and his lungs. And yet knowing at the same time that while he was in prison, prison was never in him. He transformed the prisons into places of learning and teaching and growth for the members of the prison. And he made them stronger as advocates for freedom and justice. The interesting thing about Nelson Mandela is that he was a man of pure passion for freedom. I had the unique pleasure of traveling to Los Angeles to be in the presence of Nelson Mandela after being incarcerated for 27 years. And being in the huge throng of individuals at the LA Coliseum, we all felt a connection to a person who really believed in freedom and justice. Things that people talk about, but seldom seldom are willing to give their lives for it. Nelson Mandela was uncompromising. He refused to give in. He refused to compromise his principles in order to be free. And so therefore he stands as a living example of what happens when you really believe in the principles that are there and you give your life for it. We often read about give me freedom or give me death, but seldom do we see people who really mean it. It is interesting to me that he left came out of prison, not bitter, but more passionate about freedom. He came out with a commitment and a desire to create, for the first time in this world, a multicultural nation. One where there were a number of individuals with different points of view who had equality and justice. And while that vision is still there, has yet to be fully achieved, he has set the groundwork in the constitution of that nation and the efforts that are there. He once said that prison itself is a tremendous education in the need for patience and perseverance. He said it is above all the test of one's commitment. And after 27 years, I think he passed the test. He was a giant in every sense of the word, a person I admired immensely, a person that I saw transform a nation, but also transformed a world. And so it's with that that we, I ask you a journey in memory Nelson Mandela said, death is something inevitable. When a man has done what he considers to be his duty to his people and his country, he can rest in peace. I believe I have made that effort, and that is therefore why I will sleep for eternity, he says. To the people of the world, he felt a commitment to freedom and justice, and now he was truly sleep for eternity in peace. May God bless Nelson Mandela. May God bless South Africa. And God bless the world for embracing him at this time. I ask that you adjourn in his memory.